Okay. Now to get rid of belly fat, let's try this. Okay. Sit ups. Gonna be using the music. To get rid of a good amount of belly fat, exercises like sit-ups and Russian twists, that will do the trick. Okay, first of all, them exercises are not going to get rid of your belly fat. And this is a common thing that people do. So, here is five tips on how to get rid of your belly fat quickly, the right way. But, hun, where is your belly fat? Right, right. <laughs> you have no belly fat to lose. Chantal Bannister here, CLB Training. I am here to give you five top tips on how to lose that belly fat. Now crunches is definitely not the way forward. We have abs, you have abs, I have abs. Everybody has abs, but it's the fat that's on top of it that needs to be broken down first before you see them abs coming through. So you can do a thousand crunches, but guys, you're not gonna see nothing. So here is five tips to really get rid of that belly fat quick. Tip number one, here we go. Okay, tip number one, the main tip that I want to give you guys is you need to eat every two to three hours. Now feeding your body every two to three hours allows your body to realise you're going to feed it again, so you have to burn that food. If you go long periods of time without eating anything, all that's going to happen is your body's going to hold on to that food. So always make sure you eat regularly and small. Regular, small regular small wake up start up that engine have your breakfast two hours later have a snack and then go for your lunch two to three hours later another snack in between and then have your dinner just breaking this up allows your body to know you know what you got another meal coming so you better start burning <laughs> Reduce the amount of carbs that you're having in your diet. Now, I'm not telling you to give up your carbs altogether. It's absolute madness to give up a whole macro. They are not the devil. All you need to do is reduce the amount of carbs that you're having, increase your healthy proteins, they keep you fuller for longer, increase your healthy fats, they help break down the bad fats in your body. If you've got a plate of rice and curry, just reduce the rice and increase it with loads of vegetables, different types of vegetables to give you the right vitamins and minerals that you need, but it will allow your body to use fat as an energy source rather than a full plate of rice that your body will prefer to use. <laughs> Tip number three, increase your cardio activity. Now the whole idea is to burn 3,500 calories to one pound of fat. Now don't do this all in one day. You have to do this over the space of time. So increasing your cardio activity allows your body to use more energy, meaning you're breaking down more fat. So go running, do some walking, whatever you like to do, dancing, swimming, it's all cardio activity. So really increase your activity levels and this in turn will help you break down more fat using more calories, meaning more fat burn. Number four, try to reduce your stress in your everyday life. Now, I know this is difficult because we all lead very stressful lives, but if you don't reduce your stress, you're going to release cortisol. Now, cortisol is a hormone that's released, and what it does is it makes us crave all them sugary foods. We start reaching out for the chocolate. We start reaching out for the cakes, all the things that we're not meant to really have. And also, what cortisol does is it makes us store belly fat so it's so important to try and keep ourselves relaxed so try practicing some yoga yoga is absolutely amazing or just sit down for that space of an hour and really focus on reducing our stress intake <laughs> last 
last but not least, tip number five. Try to incorporate some strength training into your routine. Now it's so important to put something in your body that's gonna burn some extra calories. So putting one pound of muscle in your body burns an extra 50 calories every single day. So don't go crazy, just get yourself some two to three kg dumbbells, start doing some shoulder presses, some lateral raises, just to get that nice definition in your shoulders, in your arms, but it's gonna also increase your metabolism. You're gonna be sat there and still burning calories just because you have a muscle in your body that's burning them calories for you. So make sure you start incorporating some strength training in your program. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you gained something from the five tips that I gave you. I hope you can incorporate that into your journeys and get the best results possible. Please like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video and I will be back in the future for more videos to help you through your fitness journeys through nutrition and training. I am Chantelle Bannister, CLB Training. Stay tuned for more.